this is the general display what you are going to get it the moment you turn on your tablet. Below here you can see uh, the Wi-Fi and all time and all this thing you just click on that thing. So, this window comes okay, and click on the workshop and go to Wi-Fi huh? okay, and connect to Akash workshop. There is a Wi-Fi connection and it is telling to connect to Akash workshop. Huh? Just connect it, it is okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. Again in same settings, if you just go below here on the right side, there is a on this side you can see there is an button called apps. Okay, there is a icon called as apps, just click on it. So, here you will see all the different application loaded. Just go scroll down, there is an application called clicker. No, 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 I am telling. Yeah, you have to press clicker. The moment you press the clicker, you get this window and there is an option called clear data. Okay, clear the data. So, I will just repeat it again. So, in the settings you have apps. So, in the apps you have clicker. Okay, and below is the clear setting, clear data sorry. So, you have to just press clear data, all the data will be clear. Okay. So, I am just moving it out again. So, moving out you have to just press the back button at the left corner. So, then you can go to Akash application. See on the desktop again the two icons are there Akash application and Akash program. Just click on Akash application. So, in this you will find clicker. Just click on clicker. Next. Here you will find first is the enrollment ID. Huh? Yeah, it will come. So, right now for this particular test, what the experiment what you are doing? The last four digit, the last four digit you have to enter as enrollment ID. Okay. For me the last four digit is 1328. So, I am just entering, just press your finger here, this number pad will come. So, 1328 is a enrollment ID. So, next, next is uh, for the IP address that you have to fill. Just go below the number, uh, sorry I have to fill it here. Yeah. Enrollment ID everybody has finished. Yeah, everybody has got the screen. Everybody has entered the enrollment ID. Last four digit. Okay. Then you have to enter the IP address, server IP address. So, IP address is just shown here. 
see uh, here you can see enter server IP address. The moment you place on this, this keypad appears. On the left hand side, there is a numeric pad enable button is there. Just click on that and write down the IP address which is, so after that, after it is done, this window will come, the enrollment ID and the IP address of the server has been paid, just press connect. So, I am just giving a quiz which is for 2 minutes, there are 4 questions, I will just make it more for 4 minutes say, okay. So, here the questions are appeared, so you can give the answers, press next or go to the particular questions directly from this side or you can uh, uh, give the next buttons or previous questions. After the time is finished, the quiz uh, will automatically collect all the answers from all the tablets. Okay, thanks. Uh, you must have received this, uh, this screen. This screen shows the answers what you have given, and what is the right or wrong answers. Okay, so each uh, uh, this thing I'll just connect it to the main center here. So here you can see the this work now. So out of sixty-four people. Uh, the 60 people have given right answer for question 1 and uh, similar way. So, so in this way, this tool we are using it to collect answers from the students. So, basically in the class, if I want to conduct a quiz after a session or one hour session is there for the class and I want to just check it how much the students are understood. So, during half a time, uh, after half an hour, I can just launch a simple quiz of one question or something. So, immediately I can get a results like this one, ki how many, the green shows ki the people who have given the right answers, red shows the wrong answers. So, here I can directly get the number of students who have got the concept clear or not. Plus, individually if I just click on here, individually I can also see ki who has given which answer. So, here the tablet ID which is coming out here. So, I can get uh, the tablet ID which is mapped in my database to the student's name. I can find it out ki who has given which answer. So, even if you want to grade it or anything like that, we can use it also. So, this was the demonstration for the clicker and uh, this uh, most probably, I do not know whether uh, sir will be using it or not, depends on the number of uh, uh, clicker, uh, sorry, tablets received at the remote centers. And uh, if all the remote centers have been received at least 60 or something like that, then definitely we would like to conduct, yeah. The quiz uh, will be loaded uh, on the main center side here. From here the quiz will be launched and the quiz will be displayed to all the remote centers. So. And uh, uh, during the last time workshop, uh, we have given the instructions of how to install the clicker software on the remote centers. And we have conducted successfully and we have received lot of uh, uh, quiz answers also. So, we are going to distribute, uh, there were a lot of requests uh, from uh, many centers uh, that we would like to conduct and add questions at their remote centers also. So, we are going to give this uh, software also to be installed on the remote centers also. So, they can conduct the quizzes uh, uh, during the, uh, in their colleges also. We will be posting it in somewhere in uh, December on the portal here, okay, thanks. <laughs>